Okay, this is a requested tutorial on um, backgrounds, and I kind of blurred out the name because I have no idea who this person is. I'm not sure if I like them, and I only um, pr promote people I like, so blurred out name. Uh, but yeah, the picture is really nice. I do like it in many ways. So, uh, I n after a couple seconds of analyzing it, I can pretty much tell you how she did the background, or him. Um, really hard to tell anymore with people in my space. Okay, so I have my own p picture with my YouTube name on it. Oh yeah, check that out. Um, cut out. And one of the first things she did is she has this dark outline around the whole picture. Basically, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Outer Glow. And I'm basically going to use a shadow. But since I prefer the way Outer Glow sits, I'm going to use Outer Glow instead of Drop Shadow. So I'm just going to make put this up to about 7, 8. And you can mess with the spread so it's a little bit, you know, sharper. I'm going to leave it at 0. That's one of the first things she did now. If you take a second to analyze it, you see that she's got like a basic kind of watercolor looking background that has a bit of a gradient to it going from light to like the dark brown down here. And I have a similar background that I like that I've gotten off of DeviantArt.com. You're going to hear me say that so many times during the tutorial. There will be a link or URL on the sidebar. Uh, here we go. Okay. All the backgrounds that I have. Now, for a similar background to hers, I would either use one of these three. And I'm going to open all of them up for you. So, you can see hers kind of watercolory. I'm going to get to all this other stuff later. But first, just a very, very basic background, watercolory. So, I have this one in pink, which kind of has a nature theme. Another nature theme one, more of rainbow, and this one, which is kind of grungy looking, to most copy hers, I'm going to use this grungy looking one. And no, not because it has the same color, but because it has the same texture. I'm just going to edit paste, edit free transform. Um, I like the way the edges are kind of that, um what kind of fence it is but you know your basic metal weaved fence look to it uh, she doesn't have that but I like the effect now to get the gradient you know you can pull that under but for now I'm just gonna use it like this I'm gonna go to gradient overlay I'm just gonna use a very basic black to white gradient um, put it over towards the corner and I'm gonna put it at 45 Five degrees. Oh, it should be perfect corner to corner. I'm just gonna put that on like soft light or overlay. Yeah, and I'm gonna move this around a little bit. There we go. That gives it that light to dark. She has, you know, very light over here, kind of dark. The next thing I'm gonna do, um, will show you how to do it is these paint splatters. You know, you got some over here, some over here, you can kind of grungy paint, paint splatters. Those are a brush that you can download off, yet again, DeviantArt.com. And these are all the brushes I use for backgrounds most commonly. To make your own little set like this, just keep loading, br br um, loading brushes you know, over and over again of the brushes that you like to use and then just go to save brushes and label them as background or backgrounds or whatever. I need to find these because I usually use that kind of texture for backgrounds. Gun splatters by Keep Waiting. Here we go. And put these on a new layer in just like black or white. She used some Black, some dark ones down the corner, so I'm just going to use some black ones in the corner there. 
Um, you know, these are obviously a bit more grungy looking than the ones she used, but similar look, end result look, I think. Got a skull there. And, oh, that one's a bit big. Need to scale that one down, and I'll just, I'll actually have it coming up the corner there. Because that's similar to what she had, you know, dark ring and then light in the corner. Then, with those, I'm actually just going to double click the layer and go through a couple settings. Overlay will really cling to those dark corners. I'm going to go with overlay and I'm going to use an outer glow. Yet again, instead of drop shadow, I'm just going to use black on probably multiply and just 20%. Just add a little more dimension to it. You can see we're starting to get that, not the same look, but similar look. I need to pick a different brush so I can see where my cursor is. There we go. And the next one is she's got some look paint splatters in the corner here. And paint splatters are again a brush. You can probably get them in patterns too. But um, I prefer the control you can get from them listed as blood splatter because most people ask for blood versus paint splatter. Same pattern if you're going to look them up. Depending on what you get, some of them are going to be full opacity, some will have varying opacity. Um, you know, this one is a good example of varying opacity to make it look more 3D. Uh, look around, find whatever ones you like and will suit your needs. So I'm just going to do those. And actually going to go image adjustments, invert, so they're all white. Because she has white ones. And I'm going to make the fill actually down to zero as I put the gradient on so I can better see it. And just black to white gradient, I think, yet again. Radial, there we go. Mess with the style a little bit. And I'm actually going to put this on. No. I'm quite the fan of overlay and soft light, as you can tell. I like how that looks. I'm just going to duplicate it so it gets a bit stronger three times so you got the contrast like she has over here you know hers is a bit softer I'll show you that in a second and she got these this black uh, I already have that a bit but if you're going for that kind of thing yet again it's just like a paint splatter look or I'm probably actually gonna be using this little grungy splatter things I had I can find them again yes here we go and I'm actually just going to put these on a new layer and put them in random ass spaces because I'm going to be moving it and resizing it shortly. Okay, I'm going to go to Filter Blur, that G Blur. And just about a one, one pixel. Edit Free Transform. I'm just going to shrink this to fit. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna drop shadow this just because I do like that effect. You know, it's not the same as what she's got. She's got um, more varying texture and color than I do, but I don't have the same brushes she does, and I'm a bit too lazy to look for them. 